Lesson 3, Body Paragraph Number 2 by Marisala Gonzalez. In the previous lesson, you learned how to arrange Topic 1, T1 of your thesis, develop a fact about your topic, write a figurative language sentence, and create a statement sentence to sum up your body paragraph number one. Now you are viewing lesson three, where you will learn how to formulate body paragraph number two. Hope you enjoy. The following lesson will be divided into four steps. Step number one. Arrange the topic two, T2, of your thesis within your first sentence of your body paragraph number two, all the while making sure that you support your stated fact. Step number two. Produce a fact about your topic and support your stated fact. Step number three, write a figurative language sentence that directly correlates to the topic at hand. And finally, step number four, develop a statement sentence that will sum up your body paragraph number two. Step number one, topic two, T2. Arrange the Topic 2, T2 of your thesis within your first sentence of your body paragraph number 2, all the while making sure that you support your stated fact. So where can I find my Topic 2? Example, remember your initial thesis, the one that you used as the last sentence in your introduction paragraph. By attending after-school tutoring, a student's grades may improve and they'll gain more confidence in school. T2 equals gain more confidence. Voila, there it is. Therefore, you must now formulate the first sentence of your body paragraph number two based off of this topic. Possible sentences to use Tutoring will help students gain more confidence in school. Or, students will gain more confidence if they attend after school tutoring sessions. Step 2 Developing Facts Develop a fact about your topic and support your stated fact. This will be the second sentence in your body paragraph number 2 right after T2. Ask yourself, what facts do you know about the topic? Benefits of after-school tutoring. Think. Possible responses. Some children are hesitant to ask for help in school, and so after-school tutoring allows for a less threatening environment. Here you have the statements part and the support part of that sentence. Student confidence rises when teachers hold conventions after school. Here you have the statement part of the sentence and the support part of the sentence. Attending tutoring sessions helps to build student responsibility and that promotes a more positive self-esteem. Oftentimes students are embarrassed to respond to classroom questions due to their fear of being incorrect. For the purpose of our essay, I've gone ahead and chosen the best fit. Even though they are all appropriate, I feel that the last possible response is better suited for our essay. Oftentimes, students are embarrassed to respond to classroom questions due to their fear of being incorrect. I have chosen to use the following developing fact, also known as a statement and support sentence for our essay. Oftentimes, students are embarrassed to respond to classroom questions 
due to their fear of being incorrect. Note. Use this time to reflect. Use of language. Conventions. Remember that your writing must always have purpose and be precise. It reflects a keen awareness of the expository purpose and maintains a tone appropriate to the task. The word choice strongly contributes to the quality and clarity of the essay. Sentences are purposefully varied and well controlled, enhancing the effectiveness of the essay. Step number three using a figurative language sentence. Write a figurative language sentence that directly correlates to the topic at hand. This will be the third sentence in your body paragraph number two. The internet is an information highway as big as an elephant. Which one is the simile and which one is the metaphor? If you said the internet is an information highway is the metaphor, you are correct. If you said that as big as an elephant is the simile, you are correct. Both things compare to unlike things. However, a simile uses like or as. Take a moment and reflect on the note. If you are having difficulty recalling what a figurative language sentence is, Please make sure to return to lesson number two for a quick review at your convenience. I've chosen to use the following figurative language sentence for our essay. By participating and receiving this extra help, students will feel as tall as a giraffe. The last part, students will feel as tall as a giraffe, is a simile. Step 4. Statement Sentence. Create a statement sentence that will sum up your body paragraph number 1. A statement sentence asserts or declares a fact, opinion, or idea. It is also called an assertive sentence or a declarative sentence and is the most common type of sentence. For the purpose of our essay, I have chosen to use the following statement sentence for our essay. This new sense of self-confidence will definitely build intrinsic motivation and thus harbor success. This will be the fourth and final sentence in your body paragraph number two. Take a moment and reflect on the note below. As you construct your expository essay, make sure that you avoid repeating the same words. This tends to make your essay seem redundant. Our body paragraph number two now looks like this. Students will gain more confidence if they attend after school tutoring sessions. Oftentimes students are embarrassed to respond to classroom questions due to their fear of being incorrect. By participating and receiving this extra help, students will feel as tall as a giraffe. This new sense of self-confidence will definitely build intrinsic motivation and thus harbor success. Now that we have completed our body paragraph number two, we are ready to move on to the next module, lesson number three, where we will learn how to formulate a conclusion paragraph. Remember to continue to pay close attention to the special notes icon that you see appear at the bottom of each module. This will help to ensure that you remain mindful of using transitional words and phrases throughout your writing. Always double check that you are using proper writing mechanics and grammar throughout your essay.